This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on accounting for branches dependent on stock and data system. I wish to explain one sum on stock and data system. Observe the sum on the screen. This is the sum which I wish to explain and solve here before you. Millions and sons of Delhi have a branch at Agra. Goods are invoiced to branch at a selling price which is cost plus 33 and one third percent. The expenses of the branch are paid from Delhi. From the following information prepare, branch profit. Find out branch profit for the year ended on 31st of December 2017 using stock and data system. Stock at branch 1-1-2017 invoice price. Stock at branch at the end of the year invoice price. Branch account goods sent to branch during the year at an invoice price 1 lakh includes goods invoiced at Rs. 16,000 to branch on 31st of December 2017 but not received branch before the end of the year. So total goods sent to the branch is 1 lakh out of that goods of 16,000 were sent by the end of the year and they were not received by the branch by the end of the year so it is goods in transit. Return of goods to HO, credit sales, cash sales, receipt from branch debtors including 100 from a customer whose account was written off as bad in the previous year, expenses paid by HO, invoice value of goods pilfered, 8000, normal loss at branch due to wastage and deterioration, in stock at an invoice price it is also 8000, branch debtors as on 31st of December 17000. So this is a, this 8000 is a normal loss and goods pilfered is an abnormal loss. How to account for abnormal loss in stock and data system and how to account for normal loss under stock and data system, system is an important concept to be explained to you in this sum. While solving the sum, the number of accounts that I am going to prepare are branch stock account, branch data account, goods sent to branch account, branch expense account, stock reserve account, branch adjustment account, branch profit and loss account. These are the various accounts that I am going to prepare. While solving the sum, I am go going to write down the journal entries also. And all those journal entries will be presented to you at the end of the sum. So, though you are not asked, you are not asked to write down the journal entries, but I am going to write down the journal entries for your better understanding. Let us start. So, this is branch stock account, debtors account, Goods sent to branch account, stock reserve account, branch adjustment account, branch profit and loss account, branch expense account I am going to prepare as and when required. So this is the details of the sum given to you. Stock at branch on 1st of January 2017 at an invoice price 60,000. This opening stock will be recorded to the debit side of branch stock account 60,000. Now this is the invoice price. Stock should be reported in the books of accounts at cost. To report the stock at cost, we are required to create a stock reserve. The stock reserve account is already prepared and as there is an opening balance in branch stock account, there will be an opening balance in stock reserve account. That opening balance is required to be transferred to branch adjustment account by way of adjustment entry at the beginning of the year. So moment you write down the opening balance of branch stock at an invoice price, you should always write down the opening balance of stock reserve because stock has to be reported in the books of accounts at cost. So what is the preferred element in this 60,000? To that extent, there is a balance in stock reserve account. If 100 is the cost, then 33.33 is the load profit element added. So invoice price is 133. So if 133 is the invoice price, then 33 and 1 third is the profit element. How much for 60,000 it will work out to be 15,000. So there is an opening balance in stock reserve account 15,000. And this opening balance of stock reserve is transferred to branch adjustment account because the opening stock is going to be sold during the year. So you are required to write down the adjustment entry stock reserve account debit 15,000 to branch adjustment account credit. So stock reserve account is debited, branch adjustment account is credited. So here in branch stock account, if the invoice price is found on the debit side, the corresponding profit element therein should be recorded in the branch adjustment account credit side. 
and the invoice price with invoice price if the branch stock account is credited the profit element therein should be debited to branch adjustment account that's an important understanding that students should hold so this is how the first entry is done stock at branch at the end of the year 28000 that will be recorded as closing stock 28000 now this is also an invoice price so profit element therein must be recorded in the debit side of branch adjustment account so branch adjustment account debit to stock reserve account credit that is adjustment entry recorded so let me find out the profit element in it 133 is equal to 33 and one third how about for 28000 7000 so branch adjustment account debit to stock reserve account credit so your branch adjustment account debit to stock reserve account credit the stock reserve account will hold a closing balance of 7000 at the end of the year so when i close down the sum when i conclude the sum the closing balance of 7000 will be carried forward in the next year so in the next year when the branch adjustment account will be prepared the opening stock will be recorded at 28000 and stock reserve opening balance will be recorded at 7000 so this 7000 is the closing balance of stock reserve account and to show this 28000 is an invoice price to reduce it to cost the adjustment account is required to be debited with the profit element therein that's an important understanding goods sent to branch 1 lakh branch stock account debit to goods sent to branch account now this is invoice price you are required to write the profit element on the credit side of branch adjustment account and this is also an invoice price so this is good sent to branch also should be recorded at cost so it should be adjusted to cost how how should it be adjusted to cost by debiting the profit element to good sent to branch account debit to branch adjustment account credit so let me find out the profit element there in 133 is equal to 33 and one third how much for one leg that works out to be 25,000 so good sent to branch account debit 25,000 to branch adjustment account credit 25,000 so what has happened this is an invoice price adjustment entry is recorded at 25,000 on the opposite side of goods sent to branch account so goods sent to branch account is presented with a net effect at cost similarly here one lakh is debited profit element is, re element is recorded in the credit side of branch adjustment account so this is how branch adjustment account though prepared at an invoice price it is accounted for at cost by writing adjustment entries to the branch adjustment account now, goods in transit 16,000. How to consider goods in transit? Goods in transit should be considered at par with the closing stock at branch. So just like closing stock at branch is credited to the branch stock account. Similarly, goods in transit is the stock under the ownership of the head office and that stock is in the transit. So it is treated at par with closing stock. So just like closing stock, I'm going to prepare one goods in transit account. So goods in transit account debit to branch stock account. So goods in transit account is debited. Branch stock account is credited. Now this goods in transit, 16,000 debit, stock account is credited. The stock account is credited at an invoice price. Profit element there, it should be recorded in the debit side of branch adjustment account. So let me find out the profit element there. 133 is equal to 33 and 13, how much for 16,000, 4,000. So entry for that, branch adjustment account debit 4,000 to goods in transit account credit 4,000. So goods in transit account credited with 4,000. So goods in transit will be reported at cost. This is how entry could be recorded. Or alternatively, you can create a stock reserve and the amount could be credited to stock reserve account. In that case, the goods in transit and branch stock will be reported at an invoice price and there is a stock reserve exists against that in the stock reserve account. But I have credited the adjustment entry to goods in transit account. So goods in transit is reported at cost. Now next. Return of goods to HO. So when the goods were sent, branch stock debit to goods sent to branch account credit. When the goods return, reverse entry. Goods sent to branch account debit to branch stock account credit. So goods sent to branch account debit to branch stock account credit. So this is the invoice price. So you are required to write the adjustment entry for profit element to the debit side of adjustment account. 
and this good sent to branch account is debited at an invoice price, it should be reduced to cost by an adjustment entry. So let me find out first of all the profit element there in 133 is equal to 33 and one third. How much for 12,000 that works out to be 3,000. So branch adjustment account debit 3,000 to goods and to branch account credit 3,000. So here 12,000 invoice price, 3,000 debited. Here 12,000 invoice price, 3,000 credited. This is how the accounting is done at cost. Though the entries are recorded at an invoice price, and the adjustment entries are recorded for the profit load. Now, credit sales, branch debtors account debit to branch stock account credit. Now, this is a sales. So, no adjustment entries to be recorded for this sales because profit is already real, realized. When the goods are sold, the profit is realized. So, you are not required to debit this adjustment account with the profit element therein because that by not debiting this profit element in this 8000 will be reported as gross profit in branch adjustment account. Cash sales, cash account debit to branch stock account credit, here the 48000 is also the invoice price, there is a profit element, element in it, for that profit element you should not write the adjustment entry in the branch. Adjustment account, why? Because on the sales is profit is realized and by not writing this type of entries in the adjustment account, the adjustment account difference will report the gross profit. So, next, receipt from branch letters includes including 100 bad debt records, so 30,000 is the amount received net, cash account debit to branch debtors account credit. So, brand debtors account is credited with 30,000 and the 100 bad debt recovered is an income that will be credited to profit and loss account. So, cash account debit to branch profit and loss account credit, bad debt recovered. Here I should have write cash in bracket bad debt recovered. So, 100 is the income credited to profit and loss account. Now, expenses paid by HO, branch expense account debit to cash account. So here branch expense account is debited, cash account is credited. Invoice value of goods bill for abnormal loss. Where there is an abnormal loss, abnormal loss is credited to branch stock account at invoice price. The profit element therein is debited to adjustment, adjustment account. And the cost element of abnormal loss is debited to profit and loss account. Because abnormal loss is a uh, is not considered to be an inevitable loss. It is a controllable loss. So such losses should be adjusted against the profit while in case of normal loss, it is an inevitable loss. So it must be reflected by the gross profit. So here is the goods bill for 8000. Now goods bill Abnormal loss, there is a decline in the stock at the branch, so branch stock account is to be credited. Profit element is 2000, branch adjustment account to debit 2000 to branch stock account credit 2000. So profit element is debited and branch stock account is credited with 2000. Now 8000 is the invoice price, 2000 is the profit element, cost of Abnormal loss of stock. So abnormal loss of stock at cost 6,000. 133 is equal to 100. How much for 8,000? 6,000. Branch profit and loss account debit to branch stock account credit. So profit and loss account debit to branch stock account credit. This is how abnormal loss of stock 8,000 is credited to stock account. But remember, profit element is debited to adjustment account and cost element is debited to profit and loss account. This is an important understanding that one should hold. The abnormal loss, suppose that goods are destroyed by fire, whatever the loss occurs is debited to profit and loss account. But in case of normal loss, profit and loss account is not debited. The normal loss is reflected by matching concept in the gross profit. So normal loss in reduces the gross profit. Now you are also given the normal loss of 8000. Normal loss branch adjustment account debit to branch stock account credit. 
एडजस्टमेंट अकाउंट है बेटू स्टॉक अकाउंट कर सो हियर नॉर्मल लॉस इज ऑल्सो क्रेडिटेड टू ब्रांच स्टॉक अकाउंट एट एन इन वॉइस प्राइस बट द टोटल वैल्यू प्रॉफिट एलिमेंट एंड द कॉस्ट एलिमेंट बोथ आर डेबिटेड टू ब्रांच एडजस्टमेंट अकाउंट दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट स्टूडेंट शुड होल्ड फॉर अकाउंटिंग ऑफ एब नॉर्मल लॉस एंड नॉर्मल लॉस अंडर स्टॉक एंड डेटर सिस्टम now closing balance of debtors 17000 so all the information is considered now i start i should start closing the accounts now first of all total of credit side 160000 total of debit side is also 160000 this implies that goods are sold by branch strictly at an invoice price no sale is no sales has been made by branch above the invoice price or no sales have been made by branch below the invoice price so when the goods are sold by a branch exactly precisely at an invoice price the difference in stock account won't appear or even if the difference occurs that may be report the difference is found on the credit side then it will be treated as loss of stock then you have to identify whether that loss is normal or abnormal and you should go for its account But if, but if a negligible some difference is found on the debit side of the branch stock account, then it should be treated either selling goods above the invoice price, or sometimes if the amount is very negligible, it may be treated as abnormal gain. Now, in case of debtors account, I'll find out the opening balance of debtors not given to me. Now, goods sent to branch account will be transferred to purchase account or trading account. so goods are sent to the branch out of goods purchases so it is transfer to purchase account so net purchases will be reported by head office for its purpose stock is the closing balance 7000 now goods in transit closing balance of goods in transit 12000 branch expense account is transfer to profit and loss account so profit and loss account debit to branch expense account credit now gross profit that is transfer to profit and loss account so branch adjustment account debit to branch profit and loss account credit 16000 and here you will get the net profit 16100 minus 8000 so 8100 is the net profit that will be transferred to general profit and loss account so branch profit and loss account debit to general profit and loss account credit this is how various entries are recorded and all the entries that i have recorded while solving the sum are reported here to you for your better understanding this is how i have written the journal entries while solving the sum these are not total yet there are few journal entries to be presented so just look at all the journal entries that i have recorded while solving the sum over and above you will find this four journal entries that also i have recorded while solving the sum so branch adjustment account debit 16000 to profit and loss account debit 16000 the transfer of profit to net profit to profit and loss account that entry could be recorded branch profit and loss account debit to general profit and loss account debit this is how this sum gets solved so i have tried to explain you this sum this is a good sum i feel that you have followed all these things thanks to